everyone welcome back and we are home welcome back to my home today we're going to look at a secondary release of the uh, LCA August release it's not a part official uh, part of the LCA program they call it LCA plus and shop owners can decide to carry it also this would uh, go along with the um, with the southern draw uh, Lady Killer. It came out with it as a secondary release, and this is it the My Blue Heaven. And I gotta tell you, that band is so plain and so little going on. I am calling that angle the shot angle as far as the band goes. It's just a couple of clouds on there. There's your density. Has a decent feel in the hand, five by 50 Robusto in the past. And this is like the third year they've had the My Blue uh, Heaven. In the past, they've been a six by 44 Vitola. This year, it's a five by 50 Robusto. Uh, it's made at Agonorsa Leafs factory. Uh, using a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, a dual Nicaraguan binder of Criollo 98 and Corojo 99. Uh, and uh, with those same two uh, uh, Veritol's ass uh, in the filler. So there you go. Um, sort of a long and a short of it. I don't know much else to tell you except that we're going to get right to it. How about that? The new My Blue Heaven for 2021, the secondary release for the August LCA release. All right, let's give her a clip here. Oh, that's a good draw. Really nice. Okay. Just about perfect. Citrus peel, cedar, Touch of brown sugar, leather, earthy nutmeg, black coffee, red and black pepper at about seven and a half. I'm getting both. I'm getting a little red pepper and a little black pepper. I, I, it, it, maybe it's a mix. That's how you start. And... Uh, does have agonorsa qualities to it some of the tobacco tastes some of the flavors there so that's how we are starting the mind blue heaven um i've had two of these previously that's it so i'm, I'm anxious to see how i'm going to react to this one i had two of them while we were on vacation just to get an idea and uh 
So we're going to see how this one pans out today. They all stand on their own. When they re are reviewed, that's my impression right then of it. So uh, let's see how what we have by the first third. Here at the first third. And I've, got a, I've still got a little cedar, brown sugar, a little leather, a little nutmeg, a little black coffee. Still got a little bit of that, a little bit of a red pepper thing going on with some black pepper. It's quite a bit of a, of a leather and an earthy black coffee. It's a San Andreas wrapper, but I don't know if it's a San Andreas Maduro wrapper because it doesn't look Maduro or taste Maduro. But the first, you know, the cigar is not bad. It's not crazy, but uh, it's not too bad. It's not at the level of the Lady Killer, I can tell you that. But uh, I would rate the first third 88. It's um, right in there where I almost could buy it again. It's not, you know, it's, it's right there. It's 88. It's 88 for me. Um, finishes a yeah, sort of a nutmeg, sort of a nutmeg cedar toffee type thing. Pretty good lingering pepper, and I would call the lingering pepper a black pepper. Medium bodied, I think we'll move up a little bit, but um, first third is not too bad. Interesting cigar. So we'll just play it out and see what the second third brings. End of the second third, right at the band. I don't need to remove that pronto. But the cigar is, you know, sort of average-ish in its flavors to me. There's a little cedar, a little brown sugar. There's just faint amounts of like a toffee flavor. You got a little leather and you got a very earthy nutmeg and black coffee. Medium to full body. Finish is basically unchanged. Cigar is okay. Um, it's not really grabbing me. I wish it would really, but it just it isn't. It's, it's, it's okay. You know, I could have it again, but it's not something that I would go crazy about. Uh, second, third, I'd really go 86. It's just, it's okay. Um, some people out there may love it, but uh, it, it's, it's not like the Lady Killer. You know, secondary release, it's just kind of another one thrown in there. And I, I don't know the previous versions, how they stacked up, but this one's in the okay category. But anything can happen. Let's just see what happens in the final third. But, you know, it's not bad. It's just not great. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. So I was definitely not anything that's wowing me by and large you had the same flavor notes maybe it's a little earthier now it actually is uh medium full body finish basically got changed rather faint notes of cedar brown sugar toffee elevated notes of earthy nutmeg and earthy black coffee I'd probably let it slide down to 85 for the final third. It's, you know, again, it's not a bad cigar. It is just average or maybe below. It's just something that is, it's, it's okay. I thought it might be a little better than that, but it's just not anything spectacular. Your overall score is 86.33.
that's about where it belongs. It's just okay. What do you think? Let me know. So there you have it. The My Blue Heaven for 2021. 86.33.